Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So two parallel lines LM and N are intersected by a transversal P. We have to prove that the quadrilateral formed by these bisector of these interior angles is a rectangle. They say that this angle is equal to this angle. So let me give a number 1 and 2. And similarly this angle is equal to this angle. Let me number this is 3 and this is 4. So it is given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So to prove that this is a rectangle, let this be angle 5. So I have to prove one angle is 90 degree. Right? This is angle 5, let's suppose. I have to prove this angle 5 is 90 degree. And I have to prove that it is a parallelogram. It is AB is parallel to CD and BQ is parallel to AD. So let's first prove that the angle is 90 degree. See, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is how much? 180 degree. Right? Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is what? 180 degree. Because angle 1 plus 2 is what? This angle SAC. 3 plus 4 is what? ACR. And these two are corresponding angles. Angles. Corresponding angles. Sorry, these are angles on the same side. Interior angle on the same side. Interior angles on same side of transversal. Right? Since angle uh, line L and line M are parallel, so interior angles on the same side, angle 1 plus angle 2 and angle 3 plus angle 4, these angles sum is 180 degree. Okay, so now angle 1 is what? Equal to angle 2. So I can say this is angle 2 plus angle 2. Similarly, angle 4 is what? Angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. So with this, angle 2 plus angle 3 is what? 90 degree. Okay. Now, in triangle ACD, ACD, angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 5 is what? 180 degree. Angle sum property of triangle. So angle 2 plus 3 is 90. We already have plus angle 5 is what? 180 degree. So with this angle 5 is 90 degree. First part is proved. Right? Angle 5 is 90 degree that is proved. So let me write it here 90 degree. Okay. Similarly, similarly, what we can do is we can actually prove that angle this is also 90 degree. So we can write these numbers, right? One, uh, we can say that this is uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, this is 10. Same thing we can do and we can prove that this angle is also 90 degree. Correct. Or a better way is if you see Let's make this as angle 6 and this is 7. Okay. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 6 plus 7 because they are alternate angle. Angle 3 plus 4 is equal to angle 6 plus angle 7. Okay. And in this, it is also given angle 6 is equal to angle 7 now. Given. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 6 plus 7. So what is 3, 4, 6, 7. So what is 4? 4 is equal to angle 3. So instead of angle 4, I can say angle 3. Similarly, 7 is angle 6. So I can say 7 is angle 6. So with this, you can say that angle 3 is equal to angle 6. If angle 3 is equal to angle 6, if you see, they are alternate angle if AB is parallel to CD. So with this, AB is parallel to CD. Correct? If AB is parallel to CD, 3 is equal to 6. Okay. Similarly, we can prove that AD is parallel to BC. Correct. 
Now, if we can prove that it is a parallelogram, and if I prove that this one angle is 90 degree, that means it is a rectangle. Okay. So, it is a rectangle. Why? Because it is a parallelogram and one angle is 90 degree. So, we have to prove that the bisectors of the angles of the parallelogram forms a rectangle. That means this, we have to prove that this angle is 90 degree and it is a parallelogram. Or if we can prove that all the angles are 90 degree, I can show that it is a rectangle. Okay. So, let me put some numbers to this. This is angle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, it is told that this AS, DS, CQ, DP are bisectors of these angles. So, it is given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2, angle 3 is equal to angle 4, angle 5 is equal to angle 6, angle 7 is equal to angle 8. So, we have to prove that this is 90 degree to prove. Okay. So, to prove this what we can do is if we add angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 what is this? This will be 180 degree. Right? Interior angle on the same side of the transversal. Now, angle 1 is equal to what? Angle 2. So, I will say angle 2 plus angle 2. Now, angle 4 is equal to what? Angle 3. And why I have done this? Why I didn't replace? Why I replace 4 with 3? Why not 3 with 4? Because I have to prove that angle 2 plus 3 is 90. And that's why I am writing this equation in the form of angle 2 and 3. So, with this I get angle 2 plus angle 3 is 90 degree. If angle 2 and 3 is 90 degree, this angle is or what? So, let me call this as angle 9. So, angle 9 will also be 90 degree. Why? Because angle 2 plus 3 plus angle 9 is what? 180 degree. Sum of the angle of a triangle. Triangle DSA. This is 90. So, this has to be 90. So, angle 9 is 90 degree. If angle 9 is 90 degree, angle PSR will be equal to angle 9 vertical opposite angle and therefore angle PSR is 90 degree that is one equation similarly I can put prove that PQR is also 90 degree similarly you will start from this side angle 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 is 180 that means 6 plus 7 is 90 Right, 6 plus 7 is 90, this angle is 90, angle 10 let's suppose. So, this angle is also 90. So, this is also 90. Okay. Now, we have to prove angle P and R are 90 degree each. Okay. That is pretty easy to prove. Now, if you see angle 4 plus 5, we can easily prove as 90 degree. Why? See, angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 will also be 180 degree because AD is parallel to BC, interior angle. Now, we have to uh, prove that 4 plus 5 is 90 degree. So, I can just write this equation in angle 4 and 5 terms. Angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Similarly, this is angle 5. 6 is equal to angle 5. So, I will write in terms of angle 5. This is 180 degree. So, you solve this, you get angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 90 degree. If angle 4 plus 5 is 90 degree, so let's suppose this is 11. So, angle 11 will also be 90 degree because angle 11 plus 4 plus 5 is 90 degree, 180 degree. 4 plus 5 is already 90 degree. So I can just mention 11 plus 4 plus 5 is 180 degree, angle sum property. This is 90, this has to be 90. So, this angle 11 is 90 degree. So, angle 11 is nothing but angle. SPQ that we wanted to prove. So, we have similarly we can prove this angle also 90 degree because this angle plus this angle angle 1 plus angle 8 will be 90 degree. So, we can prove this angle sorry angle 1 plus angle 8 will be 90 degree. So, angle R will also be 90 degree. So, thus we can prove that in in this quadrilateral PQRS all the angles are 90 degree and thus it is a rectangle. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attend free online tests that are there in our website. You can also 
get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.